Anyone that doesn't love that Sega is lying. Takes me straight back to the days of the Mega Drive. Hey, hey, come on over, have some fun with Crazy Taxi. As you can see, I've been playing Crazy Taxi this weekend. A game that first came out on the Sega Dreamcast and the PS2, the PC, the Nintendo GameCube, Game Boy Advance and more. And now I'm playing it on the iPhone. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same as it did back then, with the same characters in Axel, BD Joe, Gina, Gus, and I think, if I remember back, I was always BD Joe, so for the sake of nostalgia, I'll be him again. But is the game as good as it was 20 years ago? Well, let's play it for the first time in 20 years, I'll talk you through it and I'll let you know what I think. So, you see a dollar sign, you stop, you let the person get in the back of the taxi, you follow the arrow, the time in the green is how long you've got to get that person to their destination. I think now I'm going to the top of some sort of tram stop, which is down the road. Dodged everything, dodged the cars, dodged the people, although the people do move out of the way. The person jumps out, you get some cash, you pick somebody else up, you go to their destination. A really simple game, but I always found it a lot of fun. You couldn't have spent hours playing it, but it was always good to put on if you're having a break from some other game. Again, so following the green arrow, fast as you can, dodging the cars. The closer you get to them without hitting them, the more cash you get. Here we go, rank 46. You can reverse straight ahead. Double tap the D button, you get a little boost. Now I'm going to the cafeteria. Sometimes you see little jumps on the road. Make sure you watch the counter. Oh, there's a jump coming there. Jumped over it. And there we go. Stopped at the cafeteria. People have got different coloured dollar signs. The red ones means the destination's close by. Orange a bit further away. Yellow a bit further. I think green is the furthest away. So you get the most time. But also it's obviously a long distance. You've got to dodge more traffic. You can cut across the parks, don't hit a tree, you'll slam straight into it, you've still got to reverse. So yeah, the, the arrow will point you around the roads, sometimes it'll point you across the parks because you can get through them, but obviously you can't go through the buildings. There are some shortcuts, you can go through some things like the car park. But here we go, next destination. Slam your brakes on, come to a complete stop, the person gets out, pays you. But always try and keep an eye out on the next person to pick up. And there we go, I'll go for a green one. This one's going to the baseball stadium 1.4 kilometers away. I've got one minute to get there, so it's quite a long way. As you can see, I'm not the greatest driver. In real life, I'm far better, although people might disagree. But on this game, it's been the first time I've played it for a long time. The two buttons in the left-hand corner, left and right, they're quite close together. And I've got quite big hands, so every now and again, I tap the wrong one. But the actual gameplay was pretty good. I was impressed that the graphics are pretty smooth. Like I said, the buttons were a little bit too close together, but the game is probably not made for a 37-year-old man to be playing it. Saying that, and it's absolutely fine. I mean, I only pressed the wrong button a couple of times by accident. Another jump. Got nine seconds to get there, but I can see it marked by the green area. I know there's a person right behind me now as well, so I've got to reverse. There they are. 55 seconds left on my clock. Get to the police station down the hill. Straight into a pole. Or is it a tree? Yep, it's a tree. I'm on a dual carriageway. Don't know what you call that in America. Is it a freeway? I thought driving on the central reservation would be a good idea. Turned out, bad idea. It's quite bumpy and it does slow you down. Oncoming traffic, again, bad idea. Slam straight into that. Only got 20 seconds to get there now. It's gonna be pretty tough. They usually give you just enough time to get there. 
as you can see though, it is a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. I think for a game you can just pick up for five minutes out of your day for a break from life, kids, work, whatever it is. You can pick this game up, play it, a bit of escapism. Ten seconds to get there. Nine, eight, seven. Yes, got there in time. Only seven seconds left on the clock. Somebody's picked up straight away, but I've only got 14, 13 seconds to get there. No chance. I'm not good enough at the game to do that. Eight seconds, seven, six, five. I can see it. Four, three. Got there with three seconds to go. But I don't think anyone's that close to me to pick up. No, didn't make it. Time up. There we go. I've got a, an arcade class A license. 2,800 scored. Ranking 21st. I quite enjoyed it. I think it's a good game. I think I'll keep that on my phone. I won't delete it. You can keep your scores, register your data. So yeah, I think Crazy Taxi is still as good now as it was back then. It seems to have transferred to the iPhone pretty well. Do you play Crazy Taxi? Comment below. And also, if you can recommend any other good games on the iPhone, comment below. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, share on social media, and I'll have more videos coming this week. Thanks very much.